what is going on youtube jay here from mj tech today with another electric bicycle slash scooter looking type of bike this is called the go tracks flex it has a price of about 425 dollars plus coupons so it comes to be quite cheap this one in particular has 12 inch pneumatic tires it comes also with a carrying basket it has a foldable design adjustable seat height it has dual suspension on the backside, which for this price is kind of impressive. It comes with a headlight and a red tail light, dual drum brakes. You also get a nine inch super wide deck as well, super wide seat, bell and mechanical key as well. So it seems like a very promising type of bike. It comes with a 36 volt battery and it doesn't say the amp hours, but they are promising about 16 miles in range so let's go ahead and take this out of the box and let's see what comes inside guys as you can see everything is well wrapped with some warnings now we are removing everything that the bike came with very well protected and it was delivered by fedex i was surprised that nothing got broken on here because fedex has the worst reputation i have to say it like that guys at least my delivery driver is really careless and i've seen it on camera as well so anyways, everything came out fine. That's the good news. So here we are getting ready to assemble the bike. And we're gonna start here with the steering bar. It comes with a little latch. Just put it on. It comes already set up from factory. Now remove the little stem. And these are five, number five Allen bolts. Position your handlebar. And on the rear, we have a basket. So it comes with five uh, number five Allen screws remove all of them including the washers and make sure that the basket the yellow sticker is towards the back side of the uh, bike as shown on here and you can add blue Loctite if you want to do that uh, that's up to you you don't have to but it's always great to add it on there just in the event that something becomes loose the screws would be a lot more secure that way guys it comes with tools so you don't need the tools that i'm using and uh, here we are setting up now the seat the seat comes already assembled all you have to do is place the bar into the frame and uh, adjust the latch like so make sure that it is nice and tight remove all this wrapping from the bike and let's not forget about the keys of course that was quite satisfying now we have some more wraps here on the back side and this is the headlight i turned it on momentarily just to adjust it and make sure everything is positioned well this is where it charges okay it has like a little flap and this is towards the front side and check it out guys it is fully assembled it was that easy the easiest bike that i assembled so far to turn it on you simply flick the switch and you can see that it just turns on the scooter or the bicycle and then if you flick it once more it keeps it on and then the lights come on it doesn't have a smart screen we do have a little bell so without further ado guys let's go ahead and take it out to the streets and see what this is all about Alrighty, so here we are now guys at the park with the bike fully assembled everything was super easy to do i did charge the battery completely keep in mind that this uh, bike or scooter hybrid uh, doesn't have a uh, LCD screen instead it has a uh, little battery indicator in which it goes by increments of 25% that's all we get on here there's no hacking or uh, changing P settings to make it a little bit faster this is only a 36 volt 400 watt uh, type of system so we're not going to get anything crazy out of it but I like the fact that it is uh, something different something that uh, well at least I haven't seen before uh, like I said is a combination of uh, bicycle and uh, and scooter at the same time now I have to recommend this for people who are short if you are tall in the sense of being five foot ten or more then you might feel a little bit cramped up with this uh, e-bike it is perfect for kids uh, we do have drum brakes on the front and the rear so it does stop quite uh, nicely so I don't have any complaints when it comes to the stopping power uh, we don't get an actual electronic horn on here we just get a little bell it sounds like this uh, more like selling ice cream I would say <laughs> it's kind of funny but it is true 
So this one here, guys, the maximum speed that I got out of it in which I'm going to pull my cell phone out. And I'll show you here from the uh, speed test. I'll give you that info right now. And uh, I'm going to give it full throttle now. And the average is about 15. The maximum was 17 right there. We just did 16 right now. And we went back to 15. I already tested this outside of the uh, video, of course, and I got a maximum of 12 miles in range. So six going up and six miles coming down. Okay, so yeah, um, build quality wise, well, I, I like uh, disc brakes. It doesn't matter if it's mechanical or hydraulic disc brakes, but we know with a battery, uh, I'm sorry, with a bicycle of this, uh, or e-scooter of this magnitude, we're not gonna get hydraulic brakes but I am okay with mechanical brakes with pads guys uh, with the disc these are uh, drum brakes and mm, I mean to change those pads later on it might be a little bit of a hassle but hey it is what it is guys and this is a super cheap product by Goop Tracks. Uh, last time I checked the price it was about $400 and for anything electric nowadays and with this inflation that's actually quite cheap all right guys so here we are doing a little bit of off-roading and as long as the grass is not too high it, it should do okay uh, but that's the hill that we have here uh, the hill we have here in this park and it, it's about like a 10 15 percent incline so we're going to try this from where it starts to get a little bit steeper and you guys can see that even me with 225 pounds it is in fact climbing it not at the speed that I would prefer but Elise is not failing entirely guys there we go we just made it almost all the way to the top and boom so our next step here is going to be testing the brakes the braking power so we're gonna stop in about three two one right now and yeah that that wasn't so bad uh in the sense that you know it took maybe about 12 feet from when i started braking uh going at it at its maximum uh, speed uh, but it is not comparable to having disc brakes that would have been a lot better but these are not disappointing um, at all so again for what it is they are okay so it should do fine on gravel just keep in mind that these tires are quite thin so just be careful when when hitting the curves you don't want to slide in front of people we have done so far now about five miles in in range uh, total uh, inside of this park we already did like about one round using these uh, sidewalks and that's equivalent to about five miles and i am missing one bar now so that can give you an idea now the last two bars do go a little bit faster the first two will last about five miles in range so uh you know just to give you an idea and then the last two will give you maybe like two two to three miles before they start depleting as well suspension wise this bicycle well we can't say it is the best on the rear we do have uh, dual spring suspension but on the front uh, we do not so if you're hitting a big bump you will definitely feel it uh, quite quickly because uh, because of that reason I just mentioned however guys for the back side uh, it feels nice I mean the seat is nice and wide it's, it's not one of those seats that kind of gets in between your legs and starts giving you pain it's one you're actually sitting on the seat because of how wide it is and it is well padded as well so like I said before guys, when it comes to comfort, with the exception that well maybe the handlebar is a little bit too low and the fact that the deck here uh, is not uh, as long as I would prefer it to be, well uh, yeah, it, it, it is quite comfortable, at least seat wise. Well guys, that will conclude today's unboxing setup and review of the GoTrax Flex, 400 US dollars on Amazon. Great little e-bike slash scooter for the price. 400 watt motor 36 volt battery able to give you up to on my testing i got 12 miles in total great for local use this basket on the rear can become quite handy quickly i love the seat very comfy seat no complaints whatsoever and uh, the rear suspension 
it's uh, one of the highlights for this bike because of the fact that you can adjust them as well and uh, even though we don't have anything on the front uh, this being used mainly on roads I didn't feel the need of it even though if you do hit some bumps you will definitely feel them on your hands but not on the rear as it does have a suspension so let me know what you guys think on the comment section down below thank you so much for watching subscribe for more if you haven't done so click on the bell icon and I'll see you guys on my next one